So I'm just taking the white paint and I'm kind of putting it next to or on the turquoise ones that I just laid down. And I'm going to show you the technique that I'm going to use to blend and meld those colors in. Oh, and shout out to, um, I will get y'all the information below because this idea came from another YouTuber and I had some wood and I was like, I want to paint the wood. And I went on YouTube and I looked up, um, you know, how to paint wood and whatnot. And she had these beautiful colors and everything. And I learned it from her and I want to give her her proper credit. So I will put her um, link in description and below when um, I upload this video. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to be dabbing. So I'm going to have my brush like this and I'm going to just be dabbing like this. Um, let me see if I have... I do all right so I'm using this paintbrush this also came from um, <laughs> Dollar Tree as well I kind of like the wood tip it feels more of a quality brush and so what I'm gonna do is dab and just kind of go with the flow of the wood so since my wood has this kind of like watery flow I'm gonna just go straight with the wood and go down Let me turn this so y'all can see that. Okay. So as you see how I'm going down it like that, I'm getting that texture in there. I'm blending those colors real nice and well, and it's going beautifully on that top color. I am going to add some more white to this to kind of give it that ocean flow look. And I'm just, I'm just dabbing, y'all. <laughs> and once you start it, you'll kind of get what kind of flow will go with the wood. Because like I said, all woods have a typical flow to them. But some are different. And the way this wood has the swirl pattern to it and everything... It kind of gives me that lava lamp feel a little bit. Not with like the bubbles and things and that. But like when it's kind of just flowing. So that's what I want to give this piece. It's just some flowing um, texture and some flowing patterns. And so I'm just kind of dabbing here. Giving it that real ocean look. And just dabbing y'all. And you can kind of see how where it's building up and kind of just beating across. Now, with this paint, um, I've had, I've done it to where like the textures are kind of popping out and everything like that. And then as soon as it dries, it lays flat. So, um, if you want to keep the texture, it's better if you kind of, you know, kind of do it straight out the bottle. And try to do it that way because I built the texture up to um, kind of keep that bubbly flow. And it also does depend on what paint you're using as well. Because some paint you can bubble it and then it will dry flatter than what it is. But if you keep building on it then you'll get that um, pattern or um, shape that you're looking for. So again I'm just dabbing. I'm going to add some more white here because... I want it to be more white. I don't want just so much blue in there. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna kind of just dab in. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So maybe I am going to swirl now. <laughs> and the swirl is kind of giving me. It's giving me something that I need right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to bag and see what I can get. And like I said, guys, I'm just freestyling. I am not giving y'all a set anything. The only thing I'm trying to give y'all is 
what to do and what techniques you might want to use but as far as um what i'm hoping this outcome would be i'm hoping the outcome that it will flow with the wood and i'm hoping that um that it will look good on the wall but as far as this video i'm just showing you how to paint the wood and how to get a certain texture out of um the wood um and next video i'll probably show you um because i had another one and i used um remote control lights at the bottom of them and i did them in a flame scorch pattern and what i did with those was i kind of dabbed and did the same thing but i used different colors like black and red and whatnot and that one came out pretty good so i may have to do a video on that So yeah, I'm kind of liking the dad pattern. It's giving me what I need right now. So we're gonna keep consistent with this dad pattern. And I'ma just keep on dabbing. Cause it's kind of giving me a reptilian look and I like that. And I'm just going with the flow of the wood. I'm not um, trying to make different patterns on it or anything like that. Like I said, it's kind of a flowy pattern. So that's what I want to kind of stick with right now. And I'm going to get those ends. And if you want to get the crevices, you can. Just take a thin brush and kind of get those crevices. But I'm going to keep those the dark blue that they are. Just to add a little depth to it. And I'm going to keep dabbing. All the way down, just keep on dabbing. So when I get right here, I mix it up a little bit and just kind of dab along the lines. Like I said, um, if you want like your lines or whatnot to be more defined and things like that, then you can, you know, put the colors down, um, rinse your brush, do another color and then do another color. But like I said, I want these to kind of just meld together and flow together just like water would. And again, guys, um, if you have any tips or tricks that you would like to add, just put it down in the comments, man, because I'm very open to um, criticism and I'm very open to new ideas. And I'm always looking for new ways to do different things and everything like that. And so this is a safe place for all your um, comments and things like that. Just don't be talking crazy and just help each other out, man, down in the comments below. And you know what? Now that I'm kind of doing this nautical thing, I think we're actually going to go all out on this. Because I do have some anchors. Not like real anchors, but wood anchors, of course. And um, I do have some seashells and some sand. So we may just make this like um, a little decorative piece, but more decorative, I guess. 
And I'll show y'all that once I... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get that together and I'm gonna show y'all that later on. So let me just focus on this paint right now because I will get sidetracked. And we'll be having a whole video about <laughs> different things and everything like that. So let me just focus on the piece that's at hand right now. Still again, going with the flow pattern. Like I said, I'm not really looking for a certain thing here. I'm just going with the flow pattern and I'm um, keeping it consistent getting around those wood areas dabbing in in those places that we missed maybe on the base coat and that's totally fine I am kind of leaving little strips of the blue in there because I'm thinking of the ocean right so you know when you think of the ocean you think of deep blue you think of sea foam and then you think of regular foam so that's what I'm kind of doing here still keeping with that flow still keeping um, consistent um, now that I'm thinking about it, I might do these brown and, um, just kind of have it like, you know, the stone and whatnot that you see, like you see little boulders and stuff in the ocean. So, again, dabbing away, just dabbing and dabbing, keeping that flow up, keeping that consistency up, and just dabbing, you know. However you like to dab, that's how we're doing it today. We're just dabbing. Keep going down, keep dabbing, and keeping it consistent. Just keeping it consistent and just kind of making tidal waves like all around the thing and just with that white and whatnot and I'm actually going to show you a quick technique here because like I said once I get started I say I have one thing in mind and then I'll be like ah, let me do this so I'm sorry if that's inconsistent for you or whatnot but let me just show you what I'm about to give y'all real quick okay so on the portions right here you see like where there's a lot of white and you see kind of how i have some blue mixed in there what i'm gonna do is i'm kind of just gonna mix it in a little bit more not too much but just a little bit now if i had a blow dryer i'd do it with a blow dryer but i don't have a blow dryer so i'm just gonna blow on it And as you've seen, as I blew on it, let me try to get a little bit of color here so I can show you what I'm really talking about. And I'm going to use a deep blue on top. And you see how to kind of spread it out. And even in here, you can see those little white lines kind of just caressing in that white a little bit let me see if i can get any closer just like that so i'm going to try to do a couple more of those but continue the pattern as well so let me get some of that blue off in there real quick just a few dabs y'all nothing major nothing too much So you see what I'm working with here? Kind of how it's like that ocean feel to it. It feels like a deep wave. I like that. So I'm going to continue to go ahead and go down the pattern and whatnot. But I am going to do a few more spots like that. Probably not all of it, but just a few spots. Just to get that color in there right there. Because I really do like that. So let me flip this over real quick so I can give you a closer view of what I'm doing on the sides here. all right and we're back okay still dabbing right along mixing that in there